All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the Ratchet Motors YouTube channel. What I'm sharing in this one is actually a top secret project I really haven't let anyone know about quite yet. Uh, it's something I want to get going for this spring. I've been working on it in the background, never really got a chance to get it fired up. Uh, but in this one, we're gonna work on our spring project. So what we have here is our Troy built TB230 lawnmower. Uh, I've had this since I think like 2018. Uh, never done any service to it whatsoever. And over the winter, I stupidly left gas in it and I'm pretty sure it clogged up the carb. Now I could take the time to rebuild the carb. It's pretty easy to do. So it is a plastic carb, so that's a little funny. Uh, but it was on Amazon. I'll put the link up in the description. Uh, and there is a carb kit. So a new carb, spark plug, air filter, all, all for like 20 bucks. So rather than rebuilding it, I'm just gonna take the old carb out, put the new one in, replace the spark plug and the air filter, and we should have this thing up and running. So I'm gonna start, I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't have the guide anymore or the instruction manual, but it shouldn't be that hard. I'm gonna take the cover off to start, uh, probably disconnect my gas tank, clamp off that line. And then hopefully it'll be pretty straightforward just pulling the carb out. So I'll use a star, of course. So I'm gonna start by taking off this red plastic cover. So we get the carb right here. And the plan here is gonna be the first clamp off the fuel line. Looks like we'll have to take the air filter off. Uh, and then it should be pretty straightforward actually. I'm not sure if this is going to here. Actually looks like it might be part. Huh. We'll figure it out when we get there. This one's nasty, so definitely be good to replace that. This is the entire carburetor on this panel here. Uh, so I'll start by clamping off the fuel hose actually, just to be safe. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, so not too bad there. Get the old carb pulled. And like I said, they're like 25 bucks or so on Amazon. Got an entirely new carburetor with all the gaskets, a new fuel line, a new spark plug and hose, uh, new spark plug and uh, fuel hose with the clamps and an air filter. So pretty good deal to maintenance this thing. It's crazy. I was looking to see where I can drain the oil and this has no drain. It's called a just check and fill. So I guess it just assumes it eats the oil and you fill it up and top it off and the oil just goes forever. Uh, so it should be pretty straightforward. Just changing the carb, changing the fuel line, the spark plug. Hopefully it fires back up. Because the fuel tank is plastic, I'm just going to cut the old fuel line off rather than try to yank on it and potentially damage something. Usually just adding a slit in it there makes it loose enough that it can come off. It's still stuck pretty good, but there we go. It's gone. There we go. Alright, so now it's just popping the old I mean sorry, the new carb on, and then I'll reconnect the fuel line cut to blank when it's in there. box. Actually, I'll, I'll cut the fuel line and get it on there. Not much better. filter cover, air filter, we're back in business. I cleaned this up off camera just to get it a little nicer. It's not so dirty. Give everything a little bit justice now that we took the time. Just let it do as, yeah, yeah. Like our PCB tube or something here.
got a new air filter here. And then the only other thing is the spark plugs. That will fuel out, so. Hopefully. Oops. Hopefully, this will just fire right up. And then my mother wanda for the HOA tries to murder me. We got two other. Oops. Now, air filter. Oops. Air filter cover. This is what I'm saying. No oil change, right? Where is it? Uh, just, oh wait, no, right here, just check and add, no oil changes. Weirdest thing I've ever heard, but whatever. Sounds like my gold slug again. Just check and add. Okay. Air filter cover. Air filter cover. Do the spark plug real quick. That's it, hopefully it runs again. Spark plug. For the best possible outcome here, we're even gonna change out the spark plug. Came with the kit, so might as well change it out. All right, they actually look the same, even though uh, even though the uh, shit, even though the uh, <laughs> the nut part is different here. They actually have the same threads. Eh, good enough. It's a lawnmower. Let's slide this other one in here. Add in my dab of dielectric grease, and that'll be it for this one. I was just shoving it in the boot there, take the dog hairs out of it. That's all she wrote. All right, so in theory, add some gas and it should fire up. In theory. In theory.
right, so that's really everything we have for this one today. Lawnmower is just something I've been pushing to the side for a long time now with the truck, the Triumph, the Bug. Just really didn't have time to get to it, but I am a homeowner. I'm a normal person. I got to get that lawnmower up and going so the HOA does not murder me. So HOA uh, should be happy. Got the lawn mowed. Lawnmower is good to go. And we have all our parts on order to get that F100 back up and running. So in the next one, we're either going to be putting the F100 back together or I have a cool little digital dash project for the Super Beetle. So if you like what you saw, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content so you don't miss anything coming up. Hope to see you again soon.